The roots of the Kashmir conflict can be traced back to 1947 and the two-nation theory. Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the founder of Pakistan, argued that Hindus and Muslims were different people with different religious beliefs, social customs and a way of life. Indian Muslims should thus have a separate homeland in the subcontinent to safeguard their way of life and to ensure their safety outside of a predominantly Hindu country. India was thus partitioned to create Pakistan. The fate of Kashmir remained undecided. A series of events led to the outbreak of a full-scale war between India and Pakistan over Kashmir. Sixty years later, the fate of Kashmir still remains undecided. Muzammil Jalil is a veteran Kashmiri journalist based in Srinagar. In December 2008, in a candid interview given to this reporter, Jalil spoke about the roots and the fallout of the conflict, why India and Pakistan want Kashmir, and why Kashmiris want independence. So where does that leave the Indian government and what it should take out of these elections? There's a patient who's cancer. And because of the cancer, the patient is also headache. And what you are doing, you are consistently giving him medicine for headache. So the person will get temporary relief. But you know what you need to do to actually address the headache as well is to actually give him medicine for the cancer. If the cancer goes, headache goes automatically. So for the last 60 years, that has been the policy on Kashmir, that you get some sort of a relief and the, the, the immediate crisis is over, and then you sleep over it. Nobody tried ever to think, why are Kashmiris so stubborn and want to leave India? What is the underlying interest? To me, the underlying interest is political freedom. Definitely a political freedom. And political aspirations. Of course, it is, it is, it is, it is, you know, the, the whole concept of separatism is based on that. It is primarily a movement for political rights which has taken different shades. At some point it has taken a religious shade, at some point it has taken secular shade. And you know, those are all, those are only shades. If you understand that the political rights and the freedoms, that is the main thing. That you know they want a democratic franchise, you know, to 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 actually say what they want. And then then things will completely completely ease out. And where does Pakistan fall into this entire Kashmir puzzle? While well, India believes that this state mm, is actually the cornerstone of its secular, you know, uh, secular credentials, because you know this is the only Muslim-dominated state, and you know it came to it came to India despite two-nation theory in 1947, and so this has to be this has to be with India, and if it is with India, this alone will ensure that India remains a secular state. In the same manner, Pakistan thinks that this is an unfinished task of partition because this was a Muslim-majority state which should have gone with Pakistan because India was divided on the basis of religion. So it actually is important to both in that way. And it is also linked to the existence of both. What does the future hold for Kashmir and Kashmiris? The way, you know, it's, it's very interesting. The way, the way Kashmir needs you know, freedom from India. India needs freedom from Kashmir. And the same man of Pakistan also needs freedom from Kashmir. If you look at what has happened to these countries, you know, we have kept them hostage as well. Their destinies are hostage because of us. If there was no Kashmir, you know, India and Pakistan would be best of friends. I personally am scared of Al-Qaeda coming here. Because for the last 20 years, all these years, you know, one interesting thing about Kashmir, it is geographically closest to Al-Qaeda. But it has been psychologically, politically, socially farthest from Al-Qaeda, any conflict. You'll see Al-Qaeda in Chechnya, you'll see Al-Qaeda in Iraq, you'll see Al-Qaeda everywhere, but not in Kashmir. Why? Because I think that that was a conscious decision of Kashmir.